appropriate blood culture bottles and alcohol swabs to clean top. Chlorhexidine, iodine, and alcohol swabs. A tourniquet. Non-sterile gloves. Butterfly needle or IV catheter with blood collection syringe. A large gauge blunt needle for blood transfer. Sterile gauze. Adhesive bandage if appropriate. Confirm blood culture order and ideal blood volume and print the labels. Perform patient identification using two identifiers. Prepare the patient and the family by explaining the procedure as well as the indications and any complications. Apply Paynees or EMLA if time and acuity permit. Assemble the equipment. Place appropriate labels on the tubes. most important step in preventing contamination and infection, as we all know, is thoroughly washing your hands. Apply a tourniquet above the venous access site selected and palpate the vein. Put on non-sterile gloves. Sterilize the skin. Friction during cleansing and adequate drying time is critical to eliminating organisms on the skin. Do you need to repalpate your vein? Make sure you stop and re-sterilize before performing the venipuncture. Perform venipuncture and collect blood sample with one of the following methods. Butterfly needle with attached syringe. IV catheter with T-connector using either a sterile syringe or sterile vacutainer. Or lastly, sterile syringe with sterile transfer needle collecting drops from the IV hub. Do not collect a blood culture by drawing back on an already placed IV. Withdraw the needle and discard in the sharps container or connect an IV extension tubing as indicated. Remove the plastic covering on a culture bottle. Wipe the top of the specimen bottle with alcohol prior to instilling the blood sample. Just remember, the top of the bottle is not sterile. Using a sterile, large gauge, blunt needle connected to a syringe, inoculate the specimen into the first blood culture bottle. Allow appropriate volume of blood to enter the tube. Hold syringe plunger firmly to prevent suction of entire sample. If blood is being collected from multiple labs, the blood culture bottle must be filled first to limit the chance of contamination. Place labeled bottles in a specimen bag and send to lab. <laughs>